and this is the one time only return of the Ninjago trailer reactions and analysis series. We haven't done one in such a long, long time. Ever since I tried to do some of the other trailers, like from the older seasons. Now, as we all know, Crystallize has been released. Um, and it was kind of a shock to all of us because we didn't expect it to release until like June or something like that. And yet it's still May. And yet, um, it's released to everyone, to a lot of people. Now, obviously, the ep some of the episodes are region blocked, but obviously you can get around that by using a VPN or just downloading straight from it. So, uh, I think that, um, that's kind of weird in a way, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I have not seen this trailer. I've not seen it at all. This is the official one. The other ones were teasers, and I don't do teasers, but this is the official trailer. This is 90 seconds. Um, and also, I want to say, if you're going to post any spoilers, to do not post spoilers about what's going on in Crystallize in the comments, because I will remove those comments, because I don't want anyone to be spoiled, especially if they haven't seen it yet. So, no spoilers. Do not spoil Crystallize. Don't ruin someone else's fun, okay? So, let's go with this trailer. This was the scene last night where a bench stone smuggling operation... <laughs> the boss is gonna love this! ...was thwarted by a group of heroes calling themselves the New Ninja. Those other wannabe ninjas are moving in on your turf! I'm starting to hate them. What bench stone? Anyone who's collecting bench stone has to be up to no good. You are invited to join the Council of the Crystal King and have your revenge. Revenge! Oh no. <laughs> Pretty, pretty good. So let's analyze this puppy. This was the scene last night where a bench stone smuggling operation. <laughs> the boss is gonna There's misdemeanor. And why is he biting it? I, I mean, I can kind of see it because it does look like some chocolate. By a group of heroes calling themselves the new ninja. Those other wannabe ninjas. Um, go back, go back a little bit. Uh, please let me. <laughs> I made a video talking about these new ninja, and I, I'm going to say it before. I think these new ninja are going to carry on the legacy of the original ninja. Um, they're going to be the brand new team, essentially. But, you know. Those other wannabe ninjas are moving in on your turf. That's some pretty good. Most impressive. I'm starting to hate them. What bench stone? Anyone who's collecting bench stone has to be up to no good. You are invited to join the Council of the Crystal King and have your revenge. Revenge! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. A sphere again and her fucking cries of revenge! Can we. Again, I like, I expected it at the, and at the same time, it's like, I don't want to hear it because. The whole revenge thing is the reason is the whole reason why her character was never taken seriously in season 11's fire chapter because she wouldn't shut the hell up about it. If she literally did not say that, I feel like some people would have actually taken her seriously. Cuz I remember there was a comment that said 
it just come it just has a lot of the tropes that a lot of Ninjago fans don't want. She's a snake. Check. Constantly says a certain phrase, check. Relation with Wu, check. It just she just comes across as a bad trope villain, essentially. <laughs> but, you know. She doesn't have the fire powers anymore, so here we go. Let's continue. And there's Mr. E back. Um or Mr. F, I should say. Um, but I'm glad to see him come back. I hope he's revealed to be Echo Zane this time. Because I had no idea why they decided to not include that storyline in Sons of Garmadon. Like, the reasoning is even pretty bullshit as well. Because they didn't want to over... I mean, I can see it at the same time. But at the same time, you really could have ruined something good for say. For the sake of something less superior, because I'm not a fan of the whole Lloyd and Harumi thing and Sons of Garment. I'm not a fan of it because it's been done to death at this point. Yeah, now this reaction right here is the sole reason why people think Harumi is going to return. Um, now, if you're going to post any spoilers, like I said before, do not because. You know, or don't insinuate it because I will remove those comments um, because I'm not tolerating that. But um, this whole reaction is the sole reason why people think Harumi is coming back. I, I'm going to still think it is a clever edit because I have not seen the rest of the season so far, so don't spoil it for me. Um, so I have only seen episodes one and two. At the time of recording this video. I've only seen episodes 1 and 2. So. The, we'll just wait and see. I remember seeing people talk about this. And how it looks like a discount Mount Kavora. From Chima. And it does look like Mount Kavora. Just not. Just a, like an evil version of Mount Kavora. So. Yeah. I just wanted to say that. Very eyes. We promise to protect Ninjago. I have never seen such a callous disregard for public safety the ninja put the entire city at risk yeah this mayor can kiss my ass or this new elected mayor but that kind of raises a question what happened to the o other mayor what happened to the other one um because the other one was revealed to be a female in marginioni but now this new mayor uh basically all of a sudden hates the ninja for some reason what like what did the ninja do to you man like i understand that you have to break a few eggs to you know save everybody and stuff like that and it's not even the ninja's fault half of the time that they're because it's usually the villains that are destroying the city and the only thing that the ninja are really doing is just try is destroying what's already been destroyed so in a sense i could see where they're coming from but at the same time, it's like you're completely missing the point here. Well, looks like we're the bad guys now. Again, because season six already beat you to it. I want him found. I want him cooked. And speaking of season six, they're going after this arc again. This crappy arc. Hopefully, this arc is actually way better executed than the one in season six, because the one in season six made no sense, especially with how the way they were captured. They literally got their ass handed to them by Ronin, who doesn't even have elemental powers, mind you. And even if they were stripped of their elemental powers, the ninja would still whip his ass, honestly. So it made no sense. Hold on! There's Wu. Um, there was a uh, leaked little draft. I don't know if this is going to be in the scene, but it's in the season. But there, it's talks about a sort of last stand, I guess, for Wu. Um, and this led to the theory that Wu is going to die, along with the poster that looks like Avengers Ed look that took inspiration from Avengers Endgame, where Wu is in Iron Man's position, and this made the connection that he is going to die in this season. Which makes sense. It is about his time to go. He is getting old, so... Makes sense. And it looks like a spear is going to be betraying the ninja again. Doesn't surprise me in the slightest. So, you came all this way to find out who I am. Can't you guess? Can't you feel it, Lloyd? Run! Can't you 
But my guess is why would the why would they try to make it Lloyd based again? After um a lot of a lot of criticism regarding Lloyd seasons, a lot of people have kind including myself have said that these seasons just aren't interesting anymore. And honestly, they've essentially ran Lloyd seasons down our throat for 2018 and to the some little bit of 2019 a little bit. Um so I think they really need to stay away from Lloyd seasons. But I don't think this is really a Lloyd season. Maybe Lloyd has a bigger focus than a lot of people. It's going to be kind of like the island where it's a team season technically, but Lloyd just has the most focus. But it's not really enough to make it think that the whole season is revolved around him, which it's really not considering there is a huge um, focus around getting Nia back and whatnot. So I don't think this is going to be a Lloyd season. So if you're worried about it, ease your concerns because I don't think that's going to be the case. Okay, yeah, now I can kind of see why it's Harumi. That language is awfully familiar. Familiar, because Harumi said something incredibly similar in the ending of season eight. It was like, uh, what was it? I want to see your father's return and for you to lose it all. How does it feel to see the end? Something like that. Now I could see why I could see it, but again, it's just the thing is, if Harumi comes back, and this is for all you people that haven't watched it, so again, no spoilers. But if she does come back, then they would have to really make up a great explanation as to how she survived in Season 9. Um, I wonder if they're going to do the Avatar Harumi um, explanation where it's Harumi, but it's really not Harumi. Or if, if this is the true Harumi then they got to make up a really good explanation. Otherwise, it would ruin a big aspect of her character that a lot of fans, even the, even myself, which I'm not even a fan of the character, have come to like, and that is her death scene. A lot of people really loved her death scene because it showcases that she even she has found some remorse in what she's done, even if she is a cold, callous individual. Um... And to just kind of take that away is a big risk. But I feel like the writers know what they're doing. And hopefully they give us a good enough explanation to where it, for one, makes sense. And two, it doesn't invalidate not only that scene, but also that also her character. Because that's two things that I believe her movie fans do not want to see. They don't want to see her character essentially become invalidated because of this. And a big part of her character that a lot of people have come to love. So, yeah. That's really going to be it for the analysis. Uh, so, yeah. Um, also, at the time of this recording, I'll be watching the first 12 episodes. So, I'll be caught up with the rest of you. So, I'm not going to be discussing any spoilers. Um, I'm not going to do any episode reviews or anything. Um... So, no spoilers in any of the comments. Otherwise, I will remove them. I know I've said this multiple times, but I don't want you to ruin the fun for other people who may not have seen the episodes, okay? Just because some people have seen it doesn't mean you get to spoil it, but just in the very case that someone hasn't seen it. Just keep it to yourself for the time being, okay? But anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red subscribe button, and click on the notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye-bye.